How's everybody doing today? I'm going to show you how to make Christian Jackson's color picker in ETC. Christian Jackson originally designed it for Grand MA. He's a uh, big Grand MA programmer. Um, I'll link his YouTube in the description, specifically the video on how to make it Grand MA. Um, in ETC, there's just a little bit of difference in programming, and the major thing is the language. If you're just starting out, the language can trip you up. Um, so I'll show you how to do it in ETC, but it it definitely is his design. I'm not trying to take credit for it. It's a spitting image almost of what he did. Um, so I also have a blog post on the event I did about a month ago to talk about why I made this color picker. Um, I'll link that in the description so I don't go into a bunch of detail if you don't care about it. But if you just want the tutorial, here's the video. If you are interested in the um, impact or um, usage of it, rather, um, the blog post is in the description. Um, so let's just get into it. Um, real quick off the bat, you you just need an understanding of magic sheets and macros. Um, I'll get into it a little bit in depth. If it's still confusing, just message me and I will go in more in depth with you. Um, so I will be doing it on Nomad. Not I don't have the console with me, so we won't be able to see it visually. I don't have a visualizer for this set, but you will get the basic idea and you can make it for whatever set you want. So let's get right into it. Here's the magic sheet. Um, this is what the end product looks like. Um, I have this labeled for the event specifically, but a lot of times people will just do the whole rig, um, crowd wash, stage wash, whatever you want to do, whatever specific ones you want to make. But this is the end result of it. So. Basically what you do is you just make a new magic sheet. Um, so I'll just show you that. You go here. I'll show you that a little bit slower. Sorry. So you go in, make a new tab. Obviously magic sheets is right here. And you make a new one. Um, basically all this is is um, macros. So this is just text to show me which, it, which one it is. But all of these are just macros. Um, so macro one. Um, I just take the, so when you originally make a macro, I'll show you in this new magic sheet, if you go edit and you take find a macro and you drag it in, it'll say macro 1. So I did that for all of these. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, I can't remember if I numbered it that way or, so this is macro 1. Two, yeah, so I went across one, two, three, four, so on and so forth for all of them. Um, you can name it whatever macro you want, but then you just come in here and um, click the button. So you click the macro, and then I pick the color that it is. So I know that macro, I know that it'll one, it'll be white, and I well, let me show you. White's not good for the text, but let's say it's a, it's making it red. Okay. So then you can come down here and field one, you just make none, and field two, you make none, so you can get rid of the text on it. Um, so let's get into the programming of it. So I have macros 1 through 14, um, 15 through 24, and so on and so forth. You can number it in whatever range you want. Um, I always just do a merge into a new show file. When, they, when I go to an event and I have a show file, I should probably change these so they're not the first ones because a lot of venues will use the first ones. So I might be adding, I might add these into the 500s or whatever. I have um, MIDI controllers that I have from the 100s to the 300s. I use up all those macros. So whatever works for you, whatever macros you have open. Um, but let's get into it. So. So like I said, this first one is macro one. You can see that here, macro one. Um, so when I click it, if you look at the command line, macro one is triggers triggers group one color palette go. Uh, group one color palette one go. Um, so if I go into groups, which I don't think I had pulled up, so let me pull up groups right here. So group one is all the LEDs. Um, I I took all the channels and so, so I select all the channels that I want and then color palette one. Uh, let me see where are color palettes. Color palettes. Color palette one is white. Um, 
so if if you I'll briefly show you how to do this so let's say I had so I would take channel uh, so let me take channel 101 okay so let me go to live it's hard without the controller so let's go channel 101 um, and then I will take my um, moving light control and I would just make it white you can you know make all of these 100 so that would give me white okay and then so I will do uh, what just happened oh yeah it made blue 100 okay um, so then I could record color palette um, one must include channel list to record oh that's right um, so let me take group one enter and let me put all of them at white and then so group one color palette one record color palette color palette and so that will give me, so that records the color palette right here. So I have white, red, orange, yellow, dark green, light green, dark uh, blue, green, dark blue, light blue, purple, hot pink, soft pink, all of those, which are, which correspond to these colors. So these are not, when I click these, it's not going to go to this exact color. Um, this is just a reference color. Um, so those are the color palettes. And then, so I've got the groups. Um, if you don't know how to do group, you just, select channels right so you go live so channel 101 through 104 record group 500 or whatever and then if I go to groups um, group 500 is channel 101 through 104 and then this then you can label it um, example or whatever for this example and that's so I, I make sure I label everything so if there's something wrong in the chain of command I can go back and check so I've got my color palettes labeled all the colors, all my groups are labeled for this event. Um, so, so that's what I do with that. Um, so to do record a macro, you go, you would click um, learn, and it would say. Then you type in the number, the number of the macro you want to learn. So I already have macro one. So let me go. Um, learn macro 500 um, so once you press enter it's gonna learn whatever you whatever you type so I'm gonna go live um, group one color palette oh, shoot I keep pressing C thinking because my brain goes color palette so color palette one go and then you must and then you press learn to stop learning so now if we go to macro um, where's my macros at? Do I not have macros up? If I go to macros, 500, it clears the, co I cl com cleared the command line. See, I messed it up, but, um, as you can see here, it's like group one, a group, let me go back up. So group one, color palette, group one, select, color palette one, go. Um, I guess I pressed go twice on that one for something but so that's what I did for all these and I labeled it all white all red yada 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 four bars 56's the t12's the h6's the intimidators all of that then I have the left and the right of the rig all of this is me going and learning um, macros now when I actually did it I think I had a macro I had macros that were um, to trigger like instead of doing group one enter I would just do learn macro whatever and then cue a macro which would so I didn't have to type it in all that um, so let me go back here let me get rid of this one so if we go back here so that's what I did for all of these so now all these macros are programmed um, the one thing I haven't figured out for ETC. I haven't had time to work on it, I should say. Not that it's that difficult. I just haven't had time to, f 
to mess with it. Um, something Christian Jackson does is all of these will be like, let me edit this. So if this isn't live, he'll do, he'll do this. So if it's not live, it's got a white border. And then once, once he clicks it, it'll fill white. Um, so I haven't figured that out. What, what it would probably do is like when you click a macro, it would trigger um, another magic sheet. Um, I know that I know you can do that. The thing I haven't figured out is how to make it like if I click this so let me click if I were to click all the lights to be red, right so let me say I go red right but then I want to change these to turquoise. I don't know how to get these to all be red and then that you know and then if I want this to be blue, I don't know how to keep data that has been stored. I could go to a magic sheet that has just this one highlighted or whatever, but I don't know how to keep stored data, you know? It's worth the time, you know? Especially the small rig we were doing, I could see that the four bars were red, I could see the 56s were yellow, and so on and so forth. So, um, so I, I didn't really find it necessary to mess with it, but um, so the mouse is kind of annoying to click with it. Um, I have a touchscreen monitor, monitor with the, the ion that we use, so I was just l literally tapping the screen. It was a little bit of a delay, so I, well, it took me a, f a few songs to realize that I need to find the tempo of the song and click a half a second early for it to hit on time, but um, yeah, so that's all it is, really. It's just text, a text box that is here. And you can obviously type in whatever you want. So if this was crowd wash instead, then that turns to crowd wash. You can just open that up like that. And then you just, so you write all the macros. You, you, so you record all the color palettes is what I did first was color palette of white, red, orange, yellow, dark green, light green, blue, green, dark blue, light blue, purple, hot pink, soft pink, or purple. Um, so I did that, I made all those color palettes, and then I made all the groups, or I made the groups first, and then the color palettes, and then I made macros that were just grabbing groups and grabbing color palettes and launching them. Um, get out of here. And so that's all that is, is um, macros that are just calling up color palettes, calling groups and color palettes and launching them. Um, like I said, Christian Jackson had a little bit more of a complex one on MA that I haven't gotten to dive in fully to. So if you want to see how he does it in MA, that's linked in the description. Um, the blog post about the event is linked in the description. Um, and coming up, I also have a video on um, designing for a theater play, uh, a philosophy I had for lighting um, a play for a theater I just did. So that'll be coming soon. Um, again, if you have any questions about something in depth, more in depth, or I wasn't clear on something, just leave a message in the description. I'll get back to you. I might, if you need me to make a video or just walk you through it through a message, um, I'd be happy to do that.